Jet Lawrence jettisoning himself to the front of the pack with this incredible double or step over wall jump, either or work in my book. What is he doing? Well, first off, he's not going way outside because that's a long way around. He's not going to the way inside because that's the most bumpy and it's the slowest. Look at how much time he makes up between AC and Justin Barsha who are stuck in these deep, deep ruts. You see Barsha losing his balance just a bit by sitting down and every rider was having to sit down. We saw Sexton trying to eyeball this sucker in his heat race and the motor ended up dying. We'll talk more about that in the mistakes in a later video. Watching Jet pick a smooth line down the middle, keeping the front end light and finding a lip just screams racecraft. Yes, the eventual winner, Cooper Webb, is notorious for having racecraft, but this rider right here does some phenomenal things on the motorcycle to find these just exquisite lines that aren't there until they're there. Let's just watch his body language and him rawr, right up and over and watch him case it. The bike just soaks it up. This is a sketch moment where it could ruin your race if you do it wrong because of how sticky the mud is and casing that you could end up over the bars but they are soaking it up notice how he is in the attack position and when he lands he's light on his feet he's not on his toes he's on his arches and he's back on the bike to let that rear end almost to the point where his arms are extended to just soak that up in freaking credible and we had the mechanics telling riders they needed to do this we had sexton's mechanic we had cooper webb's mechanic all try to give them the go ahead to jump the wall jump i actually liked sexton's inside line where he was able to wheelie over some of the rollers and double into the ravine or the g out of that wall jump here what he was doing is what cooper webb and Jet were doing on the outside. It was just the inside. A little bit slower, arguably almost as difficult because he's landing in these intense, deep ruts. Watch on the outside, we have Cooper Webb, how he was catching him, was doing the same line. Not near as clean as Jet. Soaks it up, but look at how, again, he is on the back of the bike, arms are extended, able to soak it up. Not quite as clean as Jet, that sucker looks like it's almost kicking him over the bars. Here, we'll watch both lines again. And with Sexton's line, he was able to continue to do this the entire race, where Cooper Webb and Jet's outside amazing double, it got cut down. Because if we see at the end of the race, look at this deep rut. That lip is gone as his front wheel is in it here he ends up popping out of it but it is almost to the baseboards there so it's something that you can only do for a few laps quick sidebar if these videos add value make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and notification icon and if you want further content hit the join button for the channel members because there you get exclusive perks for comments and you get videos early the 250 rider that impressed me the most was levi kitchen watch his corner speed and see if you can catch what he is doing he was doing this all night long where he was standing up around the entire corners. I don't know if he's been practicing this at the Cowie track, but he does not sit down until he's ready to accelerate. He's going to coast around the entire corner. Here, we'll back it up to the very beginning here. Watch how he's standing up. And every rider behind him sits down while Levi is still on the foot pegs and doesn't sit down at all around that second corner. Here, through the sand, look at him, just floating on the outside. Another corner, watch him stand up, and then he's gonna sit down. Boom, as soon as he's ready to accelerate. Feet are not extended. He's not pointing it down for balance. He's staying on the foot pegs. Sit down when he's ready to accelerate, but standing up, coasting around the corner. 
It's fast. It's fast and smooth. And it's not this crazy aggressive riding style. And watch as he's coming into the last corner before the finish line. Look at him as he's on his toes, leaning back. And he's in that attack position where he's got his pelvic tilt behind him. His arms are almost extended, so he's not fighting the inertia of the motorcycle. And it's able to relieve pressure on the arm, so he's not going to get arm pump. Beautiful style. Stands up, sits down. And we saw Joe eventually get on the podium as well, which is good for him and Honda because he's been having some bad luck lately. So best of luck to this individual since leaving Cowie. Look at him. He is got his heels pointed down, almost like you're getting ready to do a squat because you've got the most pressure when you're trying to preload, when you're pushing down on those foot pegs. And look how his knees extend as he's jumping off because there's no lip on this wall jump. Comes off. Look how he lands. Look where his toes are on the foot pegs because he's going to preload off the next triple as he scrubs. But notice, he's driving his heels into the ground to get the most amount of traction. And that's one of the advantages of riding on your toes. Not to mention, if the ruts get really bad, you can always get higher on your toes so you're not going to hit your heels. I want to point out Ken Roxon start from the outside. Look at him. Pumping himself up, almost like sniffing salts, and he's able to get a good start from way out here, which almost seemed in freaking possible here let's watch that oh and a note the 32nd board girl is way in the first corner basically so that she can get out of harm's way it's nice to see that feld and ama are doing their due diligence to make sure that we don't have another lady out for the count but here look at ken from the way way outside almost second to last gate pick there is able to dive under jason anderson actually gets aggressive with him, which we don't see Kenny do that very often, and is able to enter the second corner inside the top three. Marvelous, marvelous execution. It's a night of coulda, woulda, shoulda for Kenny after his crash in the heat race, which again, we will go over in the next video. So until next time, keep it WFO. Ba -da 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 -da.